I'm Jackie Marsh, I'm a researcher based at the University of Sheffield School of Education. I've been undertaking research in the field of children's digital literacies for over 20 years now. Um, today I want to talk about the use of point of view cameras for capturing data um, from and with children. Um, cameras, as we know, are a powerful tool for capturing children's social worlds. Uh, but point of view cameras have a particular value and function, I think. So by point of view cameras, I mean cameras that are wearable. Um, you can either wear them on uh, head cams uh, or on your chest or any you know, part of the body. Uh, and so it captures the world from the point of view of the child. Um, and Brown and et al in 2008 now did some interesting work. So they looked at um, how people use national parks and they use GoPro cameras attached to walkers. Uh, and they talked about how they were powerful because they're able, it's possible to, as they say, convey uh, and devote the ways in which embodied, emotional and sensory and kinesthetic knowledges and experience are produced through social practice. And so for young children, I think for me that is a key value of the use of these cameras. They do capture that embodied and effective uh, engagement that children have with uh, digital technologies uh, in their everyday worlds. So to give you an example, um, we had a project about five years ago now where we were looking at young children's engagement, under five's engagement with tablets. Um, and so the children were able to wear chest cams and we used GoPro uh, cameras so the children had them on their chest. We could only use them with the children aged three and above because that's just what the um, producers of the cameras said that they, they were recommended for that age group. So the children had a choice whether they could wear them on the head uh, or the chest but for very young children we felt actually the chest harnesses uh, were much safer. So the children wore the chest harnesses and then engaged in their everyday practices with tablets. And what that data gave us, you know, um, Barad talks about that interaction between humans and technologies, how the humans and the material um, objects uh, interact um, in, the, in those assemblages. And we were really able to see that interaction. So, for example, we have some footage of a child who had a Furby um, toy and she had it at the end of her tablet and she was using the tablet to feed her Furby um, some virtual food. Uh, and the GoPro cam captured that embodied practice also her excitement as she talked to the Furby and so on. So these cameras and this, this methodology enables you to capture data in a way that just isn't possible um, for the adult researcher to get that insider um, view. Obviously it has its drawbacks, it doesn't capture everything, no method does, so um, also I think it's useful if you have the opportunity to talk to the child, uh, play back the video experience and talk to them about their recall of that, um, that also adds, adds uh, to the data set. I think also the other um, disadvantage is that children, um, although informed consent is absolutely key, so we talk to the children a lot about the cameras um, and about the fact that they can take them off at any point, they don't have to wear them. Nevertheless, some children do forget that they've got the cameras there. Um, and so in a recent project we had, two six-year-old girls were wearing the cameras as they were doing a making activity. And they were very happy to do this. In fact, they were very excited to wear the camera. But 20 minutes into that activity, and they came back to me and they said, oh, uh, does it capture, ev you know, does it record everything we say? Uh, and I said, yes. And, they, and I could see their faces. They were very uncomfortable about this. Um, so I said, oh, did you forget it was on and you said things you wouldn't want recorded? And they nodded. And I said, don't worry, we'll just delete uh, so I think you have to, if you're going to uh, use these cameras uh, in your practice, make sure that you have constant discussions with children about the footage that they've just taken. Are they happy to share all of it or do they want to edit it or do they want to delete it altogether? I think another very practical suggestion is make sure that you have um, strategies to use when children want to go to the toilet. When they want to use the bathroom, they've got to have strategies. So just a sign saying, take off your camera, put it in the box. Again, in that same school that I just talked about with those two girls, we had a little boy and he'd captured some wonderful footage, um, again, of him uh, doing a making activity. Um, and he was there for an hour and uh, in terms of capturing that embodied practice we could see what his hands were doing and the physical difficulties he had with the materials and the tools, uh, lovely data. 
Uh, but then we missed it. He slipped out of the door and went down to the toilet. When he came back, we had to delete the whole of the footage. It wasn't right to keep any of it. So just those practical things. Make sure that you remind children to take it off um, so that they have control over the data that they hand over to you. Um, and even when you've captured the data, uh, don't feel it's complete. Look at it. Be sensitive. If there's anything that you feel that actually the child might not want to share more widely, then go back to the child, show them that bit of footage, talk to them about it, uh, make absolute sure. Sometimes we've even talked to parents and said, well, your child has said this footage is okay, um, but actually we want you to look at it just to make sure you're sure, you're sure about it. So um, also, you've also got to acknowledge that it won't capture everything. So sometimes the child positions the camera so it's up on the ceiling, so you can hear some wonderful things going on, but you can't actually see them. Um, their fingers are sometimes over the lens. Uh, all of these practical things, which inevitably are part of the everyday practice of researchers who, who work with young children. Having said all that aside, you know, all those caveats are important to uh, recognise, I think. But having said that, we found them of immense value in our projects uh, because of the way they capture the everyday social worlds of children.